Hi everyone, we're XBM Network. Today we're taking a look at the rather charming and delightful I and Me. It's on the Xbox One, currently $9.99 on the store. It was released on the 6th of March, single player only. Developed by Wishfang. It's published by Retallica Games SL. It's rated 3 and above. It's an action platformer. So basically you control two cats. These cats, they do identical moves, identical jumps, everything about them is identical. However, as you go through the puzzles of the levels, you have to use a little bit of thought and imagination on how to do, you know, get from A to B, both cats into the same, into the relative boxes. You've got four chapters based on four seasons, and it's got a total of 92 levels, each one a little bit more challenging than the last. So sometimes you've got to think carefully, and in some places you need to be flexible. Soundtrack is done with an orchestra and piano, and it just adds to its own little charm. We're going to jump right in and show you a little bit about it. As soon as you jump in, you're going to get 40 achievement points, and that's basically for just starting your new journey. Everybody loves achievement points, and they love them even more when they're free, and there's not any effort required. So all you're doing for your movement is controlling with the left stick. You can jump with the A button. Don't go near the water because cats don't like water. So as you can see, all we have to do is get both cats into both boxes. First one is really simple. As you can see there, A button to jump. Now what you'll notice is because they do both identical things, we need to get them into the boxes, but so that one, as you can see, I've got the distance there. So all I did there was use the platform on the left hand side and it just made one cat stay, but the other cat went. It gives you the correct distance and then you can complete that level. This one we've got water on. So as you can see there, once one cat jumps and the other one went, one fell in the water. So all I do with this one, I've put them on top so they're both very close together. Create a jump and it gets them across. In some levels you'll have these little mystical notes you have to find. They'll give you a little message. Got to be careful here, because as we're going to jump across, as you can see, we've got some water and we've got some spikes. Each level's just going to load up. This one here, we've got to work out how to get both into the box. All you've got to do is just create a big enough gap. Floating boxes this time. Again, we just want to create a big enough gap with them. All I'm doing is jumping against the post. Just got a little bit too far there. Yes, we got that. As soon as we're underneath, we just jump up. That's that one completed. Again, a little mystical note. Twenty of these in the game to collect. You will get an achievement point for collecting all of them. Some levels, and there is one in this chapter as well, you can collect... I'll come back to what I've just done there. As I'm saying, you can come to collect your note before you actually complete the level. So you might have to redo the level twice. 
This one's going to take a little bit of thinking about. I think I've gone too far. Yeah, I don't want to hit the water. That one. Some of these levels are going to be trial and error. So as we've got on the bottom, we've got a load of spikes. We can't jump up. I had it there, but unfortunately I hit the spikes instead. That's that one. Hopefully we're going to be able to show you the very first chapter complete. That's 20 levels in the first chapter. Again, we just need to create the, a big enough gap. I wonder there's just use the edge of that beam that I'm stood on. Just to bounce against and it created the gap for me. Some levels do have what we class as an enemy or an, ob um, an object that's going to get in your way. This one's got a hedgehog. I'll quickly just run past it. Is that one? I'm going to try and get both cats together. So this one, a little bit more challenging. We've got a mystic note we have to collect. Avoid the hedgehogs and there's a lot of spikes underneath. No time limit on your games. Completely done that wrong. <laughs> I'll try and think how I did this one in practice. Oh, that's it. As you can see, the hedgehogs are just going to miss your head. So they're going to just slide over the top. So we can get that one. But now we've got to think how we're going to get both cats into the box. Some of the levels will look relatively straightforward. This one here, there is an achievement for surviving 30 seconds. 
And I've had a bit of practice with this one and I still don't know how to do it. I will figure it out. So this one, got a mystical note, we have to collect that. You don't have to collect it if you just want to bash with the level, but for completionists out there, it's always nice to get everything you can. If you get stuck at any point at all, you can do hints. I'm going to show you that in just a second. Just for a moment, I'm going to just try and get this one so you know where you're going. I'll see if I can do this at once. So I've got the hint, well, the mystical node. I'm gonna come all the way back to the bottom if possible. Yep, that's it. So that and it's just a repeat of what I've just done. This is an important reminder, moving things are dangerous. This is a B obstacle. So we should try and avoid the Bs as best we can. And then that's that level just complete just like that. So this one has bees again and spikes. If you leave them for any length of time, you'll notice a cat just got to sleep. This one I found, if you just run back with the cat as far as you can, try and avoid the bees because you don't want to jump and hit the spikes and you'll get it just like that. Yeah, so this one we've got hedgehogs, spikes, That's our first cut away. I'm follow the hedgehog as closely as I can. Nope. And so the idea with this one is follow the hedgehog first. Try and get one cut to safety. You need to try and put a bit of distance between yourself and the spikes. So as you're trying to get up, you can hopefully jump in the gap. I've completely done it wrong. You do get the option from the menu as well to replay a level. So if you've enjoyed a level and want a bit of a challenge, do it again. And feel free to do that. So 
seat. So we've got another mystical note at the top right. Use ledges, gaps, whatever you can to slow your cat down. We'll just collect the note there. At any point, you can press the Y button. Screen will fade to black and white. And it will give you a hint of how to complete that particular level. So as you can see, we're just running through it. It basically shows you what to do. As soon as you've got them lined up, just pop them in the box. Completed all them, you get 80 achievement points because you've unlocked chapter 2. We'll do a couple of levels in here. Um, I've only practiced chapter 1, so I don't know what this holds. You know what I mean? You can use the hint at any time. I'm maybe going to need it on this one. It's all about just creating the right gap. Once you see it on the hint, it does look very straightforward. I wouldn't have thought about doing that. So somehow we're going to have to separate the cats before we jump across on that one. Need to create the perfect gap. I wonder if it's already preset. I think we'll have a look at a little hint before I fail miserably. So the gap needs to be set at the sunflower. It's nice to see the hints, but does it spoil the game? Does it defect from the challenge?
I'm wondering with this one, is do we reverse the cuts? Going a bit too hard there. The idea is there in my head what to do. I don't really want to use a hint, not if I don't have to. I'm just not timing my jump right. That's a bit better. Or maybe not. Maybe I've jumped too far and the cat's going to end up in the water. I've completely messed that one up. We'll look at a hint. I think I've looked at the hint there and I've completely forgot what, it, what I was showing. So we, need, we were going the right way, we need to put one at the top. Yeah, that fell us up to the top. So, come down to create our gap. I 
The capture is not big enough. I'll have a couple more goes. Try and get through it. It's all about timing. Getting the gap right. Patience paid off. Nope, got hedgehogs again. Be very careful of the spikes. Click that note. So we've got water to go under. Oh, go over. We've also got spikes. I think I've just worked that one out. So we jump over the edge jug. I'm not quite sure if you've already collected the notes. If it registers that you've got them if you die. I was just creating too big of a gap there. The gap won't matter on this one. Just enough you know, to get past those spikes. That's it. So this one has a switch. Interesting. <laughs> We're going to call it the, a day, however, on that one. Well, thank you all for watching. We really appreciate it. They say it's 9.99 on the store. If you pick it up, let us know. 92 levels. Can you complete them all without dying? There's a challenge for you. We certainly can't. <laughs> so again, thanks for watching. If you do pick it up, pick it up. Let us know uh, on Twitter at xbm underscore network. Check out our YouTube channel, xbm network. Put our latest videos on there. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.